In this video, I'm gonna tell you where do you find the time, where do you find the time to learn new programming skills? I know you're busy, you're coding, you got all kinds of shit that you need to do. And how do you actually improve your skills? How do you actually find the time to, to grow? What's up guys, I wanna tell you about a company that I've been working with for a while that's really gonna be able to help you if you wanna get a high paid job in coding or design. It's Dev Mountain. They're an awesome in-person coding and design bootcamp that offers housing for at no extra cost for full-time immersive students. They have a whole career services team to help with job placements. So if you are interested at all in coding or design, go click the link below and tell them I sent you. I'm John from simpleprogrammer.com on this channel. What do we do? We teach you the soft skills that you need to improve your software development career, to be a better programmer, to just be awesome and to make more money, to get along better and live a better life as a software developer. He says, hello, John. I have a question which is really important for me as a software developer. How can I find more time to learn new, more new technologies and update my programming skills? I'm on a full-time job and sometimes when I get my work done, I have that free time for learning. I'm trying to spend time for learning after work, but I'm really tired from working the day and it's hard for me to concentrate. Could you please share with us, when do you find time to update your skills? You're asking the wrong question. What you're trying to do is called in software development terms, premature optimization. Guys, tell me why premature optimization is bad. Why, if you have a developer on your team and you're doing a code review and he's like, optimize some codes this this thing where he's created this really obfuscated algorithm that's hard to read and understand but it runs blazingly fast why you say in the code review uh i'm not sure about that jimmy why is clean code better than premature optimization the reason why is because you don't know if you're gonna need it and any time that you spend on shit that you don't need or you might not need is a waste of time and you also don't know what you're gonna need you might be optimizing the wrong thing right this is a common argument i'm sure you've heard this i'm going to apply this now to learning new programming languages or technologies a lot of you guys you mean well. I mean, you're a developer. Okay, I get it. It's, it's, it makes sense. Like, you want to stay up to, to date. You want to absorb all the new technologies. But here's the deal. Don't learn shit that you don't need to learn. You should always ask yourself, you should always say, I need to learn X so I can do Y. If you don't have a Y, you don't need an X. What did Java kind of invent? JIT. Have you heard of JIT? Just in time compilation right? .NET does that as well now. Why was that so valuable? Well, because it makes it run faster because guess what? Maybe I don't need to compile this code. Maybe I can compile this code when I need it and if I need it. Same thing with your technology skills, okay? What you should be doing is you should be staying up to date, reading some blogs, spend 15, 20 minutes every morning reading programming blogs and staying up to date on technology. Go to Hacker News, you know, kind of understand, especially in your space, have some RSS feeds, some email newsletters you subscribe to. You can subscribe to this one, go to simpleprogrammer.com and click on one of the pop-ups and subscribe and you'll get updated on all the new shit that's coming out. That's what you should do so that you know and then just in time, if you need to get a new job in a specific technology, you can learn that technology. The reason why I say this is that because you don't want to waste your time on shit that's not gonna be valuable to you. Now, it might be fun to learn a new technology programming language, I know, I get it. And if you wanna do that for a hobby, it's fine, except here's my one thing I will tell you. Make it make some damn money. Okay, make it into a side gig. There's no reason why everything I do in my life has to serve more than one purpose. I'm about to go run 12 miles. I'm training for like a marathon and then a 100 mile race this year. Now, why the fuck would I do that? One, running that mileage is going to give me an achievement to do and uh, compete in something fun. Not really fun, but in someone's world, it's fun. It should be fun. Is it fun? I don't know. Anyway, I, torturing myself. I One purpose is to torture myself. And the second one is because it will help me to lose weight and stay lean because I'll burning, be burning all those calories. So it has more than one purpose. If you're going to learn a new technology or programming language or, or something like that, make it make a side job, a side gig out of it. Make it something that is that you're gonna write your blog post. This dude, he was following me since he was like 18 or 17 years old, okay? He made a YouTube channel. He's got like 40,000 subscribers on there. He like did everything. He created a blog. He did everything that I told him to do. And I'm just working with him now to launch 
his first product and he's probably gonna make $40,000 in a couple of days, okay? And he lives in a third world country, okay? And not only that, but he's probably gonna make like five to $10,000 a month of, of income like on the side business. It's gonna become a real business and he's never gonna have to work another day in his life for anyone else. If you were gonna live for 500 years, yeah, learn every single fucking technology there is, it's fine, all right? But you're not, okay? You have a limited time span, you have limited time, so invest it wisely. So if you're gonna do something, make sure it serves at least two purposes, possibly three. If you are insistent, okay, and you wanna actually learn something quickly, and you're like, no, I do actually have to learn this. I, ha I have an X, and so I need a Y. Fine, I will tell you, but I'm not gonna tell you in this video. Instead, invest in yourself, whatever the course price is, I think it's like $99, okay? Click down below, 10 steps to learn anything quickly. I'll put it in the cards as well, okay? It's my most popular course on this, I did like 55 courses for Pluralsight and I had to learn shit very quickly. I learned, literally learned Go in two weeks using this method. But I don't even want you to buy the course, okay? I'm serious, unless you have a real good reason for doing it. I don't want you to waste your fucking time learning shit that you're not gonna use. I don't care if it's gonna sell me the course. I, I would rather you not buy the course and not waste your fucking time. Where, where people struggle is where they don't have a really good reason to learn something. You gotta figure out what the why is. Like, what are you actually trying to accomplish by learning this thing? And once you have that, wow, it becomes a lot easier. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you like this. And if you are if you still didn't get your question answered well, too bad, so you can't get everything you want. All right, take care.